I want him to have one day of the life that I live. Lucky charms. This immigrant mother challenges President-elect Donald <laughs> Trump to feel her biggest fear, being ripped from her children because she could be deported. Break families? Would he want to leave his family tight or just loose? Lily, who is only sharing her first name, has lived in Oklahoma for 20 years. She was brought to the U.S. as a child and now has five U.S.-born children. You have a dream. When you buy a house, you want your grandchildren to come visit. Bye, guys. Have a good day. But in a Trump America, she says that that dream may not come true. She is selling her home and preparing her children for her possible deportation. Lily is not alone, says immigration attorney Melissa Lucan. Her clients haven't stopped calling, wanting to know how they can survive a Trump presidency. The fear is absolutely real. We have no idea what is going to come from the next administration. Um, but there's a lot of uh, scary rumors, and the president completely has the control to take some pretty significant action. This isn't the first time that fear has taken over the immigrant community here. Something very similar happened when a state immigration law passed in 2007. The fear of deportation turned to panic, and that panic turned into an exodus of immigrants. The law made it illegal to transport or house undocumented immigrants. Homes in immigrant neighborhoods sat vacant, businesses closed, and people like Lily fled to other states. I was leaving my car. What about your kids? I had to leave them here with my mom. The other unintended consequence, according to police, crimes in immigrant neighborhoods went unreported. The root fear is that the police are going to become basically that door-to-door -door extension of, of immigration laws. And historically, historically, it's never been our role, never. As Trump's inauguration draws near, Lily cherishes every little moment with her children. I wish Donald would see what we have to go through, that's all. Rosa Flores, CNN, Oklahoma City.